let's go back to Andre. So he abused Diddy. So Diddy abused his power with other people, making the band and such. But this got he had a woman he said he loved, she come up dead. You got the kids. You got daughters of your own. I'll tell you what Albie Sure told me yesterday. He said when you start worshiping false gods, internet gods and shit, real God will show up and show you who the fuck he is. I think anybody and men, you know, there are women predators as well. There are women rapists and sexual molesters as well. But 90% of all that shit is you men. Men are broken all over the United States of America and Europe. If men weren't broken, we wouldn't have the wars that we have. We wouldn't settle things the way we do. We wouldn't rob and steal. We wouldn't. I will never understand. I think it's a sickness, mental, narcissist, and people who drink their own Kool-Aid and believe they're God and think they can't be touched. R. Kelly, him, Epstein. But with all the women in the world, and after being a father, R. Kelly and Diddy, and I don't think Epstein, I don't care. To even think about the minors or abusing women the way that they do, it just goes to show you. See, this is why I sit here in my gown and stuff like this. And because I'm a regular motherfucker, I don't drink the Kool-Aid. I don't believe none of this Hollywood hype. I don't work for the system. I work for you motherfuckers. Y'all is the ones who built my career. Y'all is the ones who helped me eat. Not these movies and shit. That didn't do it. It was you guys. The music industry is a different animal. I get it. But I think, you know, first of all, shout out to Cassie for starting this whole motherfucking ball rolling. I do not understand people who sit by and watch people abuse people. I do not understand people who help people abuse people. All the people who work with R. Kelly to fly these girls to them. All these people who work with Diddy. Let me tell you something. Even Andre Harrell, when you do, when you have somebody that's trying to get a job, let's go way back to when you have somebody that's trying to get a job and you make them do unnecessary shit that has nothing to do with the job, like run 18 blocks to give me a piece of fucking cheesecake. Let's go back to Andre. So he abused Diddy. So Diddy abused his power with other people, making the band and such. But this motherfucker's got, he had a woman he said he loved, she come up dead. You got the kids, you got daughters of your own, and you want to slap around bitches, and you guys want to piss on bitches, and do disgusting shit to bitches, and exploit bitches, take pictures, embarrass people, and stuff like that. What is that? You men are broken. You men, you men are broken. You want to abuse your power over somebody. You think you're better than people. You got daughters of your own. Know, you want somebody smacking your daughters around and pissing on your daughters and mentally abusing them and talking shit to them. Let me tell you something. I got one motherfucking daughter. One. One child in my life. My daughter. And I pity the fool that would ever do anything to mentally abuse, verbally abuse, let alone physically abuse my child. I die for mine. And I don't understand men, from the priests in the church to the pastors, to everybody who has a fucking, a fetish is fine, but not when they come to kids and abusing women and shit like that. If you like feet, you like feet. If you like jelly rubbed on your... You date, that's what you like, whatever. Grown. Consensual freak shit, fine. But when it comes to abusing people and, and children and all this kind of shit, you deserve whatever. If you get God's wrath, you can only ride your little superior way for so long. And then God's gonna open up the motherfucking ground and you're gonna fall up in it. And that's what's happening. Everybody's uh, shit is getting called out. All your nasty, dirty Hollywood bullshit that y'all been doing for years and shit is all coming to. It's coming to an end. It may not end in my lifetime, 
but we're definitely putting the kibosh on all your little nasty, dirty shit. Let's stand on business and do our business and quit being nasty motherfuckers. It's disgusting. Right, the industry, that's right, Cindy. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's why I, I've only, you know, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. If somebody said, I give you a million dollars with mail if you let me um, pee in your mouth. I'll give you a million dollars and I'll give you this late night show you want. No deal. First of all, I've already made a million dollars the legitimate way. I don't need no fast money like that. I'll earn my shit. I'm not participating, standing by watching, helping nobody, keeping no secrets. If I see something, I'm saying something. When I was abused myself in my life, I said something. I told immediately. I didn't sit on shit for 20 years. Nobody helped me. Nobody rescued me. Nobody, you know protected me but I told and if I see a motherfucker doing something to somebody I'm telling I don't give a fuck on the job I wouldn't give a fuck there's nothing that can keep me silent if I see some shit nothing so people are so thirsty for money and fame um, that they sit down and let shit like this happen if they don't want to lose their job get another fucking job but I, I get to fly around with Diddy, if I tell that he had five uh, bitches on the plane under 18 years old, I'm gonna lose my job. Lose it. You a punk bitch if you keeping secrets about people being abused. Now I didn't know anything about any sex trafficking. I just thought he was an asshole, which is unfortunate because we do love the motherfucking music, just like R. Kelly's music. We still love it, but you know I don't play it. If it come on the radio, I listen to it. I don't stream it. I don't buy it. I don't play it. I don't support it. If it come on the radio, you know, I might still bop or whatever like that. But I didn't know anything about no sex trafficking, did he? All I knew was that you're mean and even mean to kill. And I know things. I know a couple things. And... I don't know how people do things to people and then they sleep that night. If I kicked a dog, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Not my thing. Just, I don't like cocky motherfuckers. People that are too cocky, I'm suspect. If you drink the Kool-Aid, you think your shit don't stink. You think you're better than somebody. You treat people mean. I saw a video yesterday of Diddy with this little white girl. Beautiful Quincy was in the background as well. And he t- she was saying that she was walking down the street and Diddy uh, stopped and picked her up and said, you want to come and play at my house? And she went and he adopted her and she called him daddy. I saw some weird ass video like that yesterday. And I was like, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Yogi. I don't know. So she Kim seemed like she had better sense than that. It's the first time a motherfucker give me a red flag. I'm out. I'm a runner. I'm a track star. I see something weird. Honey, weird? I'll block you immediately and hopefully you haven't been to my house. I'll change codes. I'll do... Yeah. Well, there's this homo thug mentality of mothers that like to get their dick sucked, like to suck, but they don't really want nobody to know because they want to keep perpetrating the fraud of being this macho guy, macho alpha male, record executive, get bitches, live the life on the boat and all that kind of stuff I show every now and then. I got a hankering to put it in my mouth. Say that. Do that. Become clean. Be honest. Say that. I met a guy the other day. Beautiful brother. I was like, I had bridged the question because I thought he was just gay. And I said, well, what is it about pussy that y'all don't like? What is it? Because us as women, we don't know. What do you, are you scared of it? Do you not like the way pussy looks? Do you not like the way 
She smells because it's all smell different. It tastes. What is it about that you don't like? And this guy told me straight up. He said he liked men and women. He's just a sexual motherfucker. I appreciate that honesty more. Then somebody trying to play daddy and um, man of the house and Mr. Macho Man, but you sneak around and suck dicks and shit. They had a, a, on The View the other day, Whoopi Goldberg, and then raised the question, do women really need men? And I know Whoopi, so I called her, I left a message. I said, yes, we still need men, but where are the men? We don't need pedophiles. We don't need alcoholics. We don't need mentally abused mother that continue to hurt people. We don't need down low mother not being honest. We don't need um, emotionally hurt people. Hey, daddy didn't love them, so now you take it out on, on bitches. We don't need that. And she knows why. Carisha, please. What about Daddy's mother? Where is she this morning? She's obsessed with that son of hers. As a lot of mothers are, which is a little bit of the problem. She's obsessed with her son. And he with her. I wouldn't wish this on any mother. To have a son indicted. Or have a son, have the feds roll up. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish this, I don't wish this on Diddy's mother at all. It must be heartbreaking, especially when it seems like your, your shit may be crumbling. Yeah, and so we're trying to figure out, did he say, look, kids, there's a five milli in the safe. I gotta go. I'm out. I love you, but it doesn't... Um, it would not behoove y'all to come with me because daddy's about to go on the run. Take that money, do what you got to do. I'm out, I'll be in touch. Because he couldn't take him take him with him, I guess. But now you gone play and your kid's in handcuffs for some something that you motherfucker did. Did the kids know what was going on? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think even if you had a father and he was doing vile shit, I don't think that the kids know. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they didn't know, that they don't know things. But I still would be deeply, deeply disappointed in myself and her if I went on the run and I look and my, my kids is in handcuffs in my driveway. And where's the twins? Who is in charge of the girls? Where's the girls? I just been running off with the mama. Let me look and see what y'all talk about. Is your twins just with the mama? Yeah, valid is. It's terrible. Where's Kamora? Kamora, Kamora is at, at, Kamora knows a lot too. Because Kamora was fucking Kim's best friend. These are mysteries that we have yet to see what unfolds. Right. Where is Diddy? Are they gonna put him in cuffs like they put his kids in cuffs to detain him? Where's the, the Diddy perp walk picture? Where's that? Well, Albie, you know, I talked to him yesterday and he is highly upset, of course, and um, has been through his own trauma and shit have been dead as well. The things had to play it out right. The way that certain people wanted them to play out right, did he? I was on his last leg. He's here by the grace of God. If he never sings another note, it's still okay because he's a miracle and a producing genius. And he got morals and he got standards. You understand? Maybe not always because you was a young little thundercat and we know that, but <clears throat> he was the last one from Bad Boy still living. Kamora, Albi, that's who you need to talk to, <clears throat> and Cassie, are those uh, st uh, testimonies and stuff she gave, are those um, sealed, 
Yeah, there's a lot of people still not exposed that are still got these secret ass lives. Y'all love them so motherfucking much. I learned my lesson. You know, you, this shit ain't new. You go back to James Brown, but fucking uh, David Ruffin used to slap bitches around like it wasn't shit. That's grown, grown ain't no, no better than uh, uh, youth. The youth is horrendous. Grown women in a disgusting way is horrendous. You men are broken. I said it. I'm going to keep saying it. Nice, good, clean, honest, hardworking, heterosexual guys are very, very hard to come by these days. Oh, but see, Jaguar, my friend, that's another one. You can tell when a person is making up something and when a person is standing on business because they don't fucking blink. They look you straight in the eye and they say what they say. Jaguar ain't stuttered, ain't bit her motherfucking tongue about none of it. They could be mad. And she blowing the whistle on they could be mad. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And if you see something, say something. That's all she did. Yes, lots of celebrities think they're above the motherfucking law because they're behind the gate. They don't deal with... Do you know how many white actors you love that don't even deal with black people unless they're at work? They have parties. You can see them on the ground. They ain't got no black people at their party in their house. A lot of people feel like they can get away with a lot of shit because they got money. I've had both. And I remain the same. Money don't do nothing for you but make you comfortable. And, or it should not do nothing for you but make you comfortable. And make you be able to do things for your family and your friends. But it should not be a thing that you dangle over people's heads to try to manipulate them and do things and shit like that. I don't give a fuck about a rich mother. Probably why I never had one. I like hard work. My ex husband was an electrician. But these athletes and all this shit and this superiority shit and here, bitch, I'm going to marry your pretty ass. I'm going to put you in this pretty house. I'm going to give you all the Birkin bags and Louis Vuitton that you want, but I, I really want to see your sister. And guess what? Bitches go for that. People are like, well, I'll just turn my head and if she don't complain, it's okay. Don't my Birkin bag look good? Oh my God, did you see this bracelet that he got me? Yeah, you can sneak in my sister's room sometime at night. Bitches are selling your soul, and a man is looking. <clears throat> With me, he is getting what he deserved. Let's just throw Eric Holder in there just for, for shits and giggles. He ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but I just hate the bitch. And he's getting what he deserved. And um, all them Epstein, there's not all of them. Some of them get what they deserve. The Quiet on the Set, Pepper, Disney, Nickelodeon, others is getting what they deserve. The Lord, the Lord is a coming. Bill Cosby, I was like, I was riding with Bill until the deposition. And in the deposition, he did admit that he used to drug bitching. Why? You may as well go to the morgue and corpse. Because rendering a woman un unconscious and then having sex with her unconscious is this, this heart is only a heartbeat away from being a necrophiliac. What is a necrophiliac? A necrophiliac is somebody who has sex with dead people. So you're Bill Cosby, you're a beautifully built man, you're rich, you're black, you're successful, you can knock any hoe that you want to, and you want to drug bitches and f***ing let her sleep. Come here. Come here, you got enough education, enough money, that you could have left that fucker in the dust, and I love Bill Cosby. I still watch the Cosby show. I met him, I flew on a plane with him, I've been at a book signing with him, I like Bill Cosby. But what they do in the dark, honey, is what the fuckers doing in the dark. I really wish that I would get love in my life one more time before I get up out of here. But you can't trust nobody. I might be alone. <clears throat> but I serve the people. I serve the real ones. I don't give a f about this industry. I really don't. Because y'all is the ones that's going to make sure that I eat. It's you guys that I f with. And I'm not doing no foul, funky ass bullshit to get a, a bag. So, anyway. I'll talk to y'all later. What's up, y'all? It's Naturi Naughton, a.k.a. Tasha from Power. Want to make sure y'all go head over to nightanddaynetmarket.com. Get you some melanin merch, t-shirts, shoes, bags, jewelry. <laughs> Anything you can think of is going to be dope. 
Oh, and make sure y'all check out the hot content they got on YouTube with the host Isaiah Curry and the Curry Gang.